Hi guys, today's tutorial, you're going to change the colour of someone's tongue with Photoshop and the iPad Pro. First thing we're going to do at the top left here is going to select the lasso tool. We're going to select around her tongue. We're going to copy that. Bottom right, the right hand side here on this little screen, click on the bottom of the three dots in a row. We're going to copy the selection. Click the three dots again and paste. So here, on this area here, you've got the different levels. Top right, we've got these selections up here. So what we're going to do with the first one, we're going to select the second one in the line there, not the first one. Go for the second one. Make sure it's clicked. And what we're going to do, we're going to change the hue adjustment. So what we're going to do on the bottom here is got add a clip adjustment. Click on that. Hue and saturation. Just going to zoom in here a bit so we get a bit of an idea of what we're working on. I'm going to change the hue. So I'm going to bring it up to the right to make it green. And I think that's good enough. That's pretty good. I'm going to change some other adjustments later on, but at this stage, that's all we're going to do. Now go back, click on the layer, the, the factual photo. And on the right hand side, we've got a little black box on the right. It's got a white circle in the middle. Click on that, and that's the mask tool. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to get rid of all this on the right here so we can get rid of this screen. Look at the screen. I'm going to get the brush tool and make sure you've got a nice, decent size, which is on the left here. And the circle you can see there in the preview gives you an idea of what size it's going to be on your draw compared to your drawing. So I'm just going to start drawing in there, making sure you've got black selected here. Where's the colours here? Make sure you've got black. The white actually reveals and the black um, deletes and gets rid of the whatever you're painting. And the white brings it back. So in other words, if I made a mistake, something like this, I could just change the colours to white and bring that back again. So that's pretty straightforward, that's good. So go back to the black and I'll just keep on painting around here. I've just gone over the lines a little bit here, but just for tutorial purposes, gets an idea of what we're talking about. I'm going to change the size and bring it down a little bit so I can do the teeth. And a lot of people say other things like, oh, you just do a lasso tool around this section and delete it and all that. You can do that, it's fine. But this is easier this way and see, sometimes I'm going over into the green here. I can fix that up with just changing the colour back to a white colour. Just a bit down there, which is good. I'm going to change it back to white and zoom in to the parts that have actually gone over with the black. Bring the size down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing and working with here. Bring that back in. The good thing is just with this, with working with the mask, and I've got the layer like, like it is. Um, you can uh, you can fix up a lot of things and go back to it if you have, have a bit of an issue with it, like a, make a mistake, just by changing the colours. So that's the beauty of using masks. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out, and we're pretty much done. So what I'm going to do because it doesn't look exactly really good. So on the top right here, the levels, I'm going to get that. I'm going to add clipped adjustment. Click on that. I'm going to go to exposure. And on the bottom right here, we've got all the different levels. And I'm going to just change it, darken it a little bit, just a bit more exposure, just to match the rest of the image. And that's basically how you change someone's, the color of someone's tongue using Photoshop on the iPad. Thanks for watching.